Table seven are short on beer nuts. Get cracking. <laughs> I should run the space. Do my next book here. Let's go to places any to spend the winter. Hmm. Yes. Bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Hey, screw you, man!
crap! In their investment. They've put a lot of dough into this project. Whatever the hell it is. The competition is fierce. Why? Why are you doing this? Dr. Lafayette. So you know where it is. Big mansion up in Sapienza, richest family on the coast. Come on, Dante, just do this for me. Those flowers have to be delivered today, and Mr. Caruso is a loyal customer. If we lose his business, the boss will fire me for sure. Come on. Ugh. Today is the anniversary of Isabella Caruso's death. Silvio Caruso will be visiting her grave and has ordered a fresh bouquet of flowers. His visit would be a good time to catch him alone. That is, provided the flowers ever arrive. Fine, fine, forget it. I'll manage somehow. Wouldn't want to be a bother. Yeah, I know I gotta tell her about the accident. Just I'm working on my story. Yeah, later. You can learn it. Hey, look, I didn't see you, okay? Damn sun was in my eyes. Well, get some shades, Dumbo. Right, one more in. I found a weapon. It's it's a real one. Sure thing. Sorry, sir. It's just protocol. Thank you. Please proceed. Duck. Hey, you! Trespassers will be shot! Please? That's fucking- Alright, I'm not gonna be bothering you no more, sir. Oscar Lafayette. I have an appointment with Mr. Caruso. Ah, yes. Senor Caruso has been informed of your arrival. Please, follow me. I shall take you to his quarters. I say, it is well that you are here, Doctor. The Master has not been himself lately. I... well, I only that hope you were That is Silvio as Caruso. Don't worry. I am. Hi, Doctor.
Dr. Lafayette? Senor Caruso's private quarters. I will be downstairs if needed. Best of luck. The renowned Dr. Oscar Lafayette. Mr. Caruso, shall we begin? If you insist. Excuse you. So, Ether sends a specialist to rummage through my brain. They must think I'm losing it again. Relax. Start by telling me what's on your mind. Isn't it obvious? I'm under a lot of pressure. Work. Mother died last year. Stress manifests itself in the strangest ways, I am told. Your mother, Isabella, would you like to talk about her? Look, I... I know what you're driving at. My neuroses. My anxiety. My social phobias. Not the least my pathological fear of women. It's all deeply rooted. Go on. I had a girlfriend, you know. In high school. Pretty, too. Popular. And I was shy. Bookish. It shouldn't have worked. Not outside those stupid teen dramedies. But it did. For a short while, anyway. Then Mother decided that Emilio wasn't a good influence on me. So she paid the gardener's son to seduce her. He was 20, roguish, rode a motorcycle. Mother, she, she had pictures taken, showed them to me on prom night. Romantic love is fleeting, she said. Only a mother's love endures. What, what do you want me to say? I loved my mother. I hated my mother. Same as everybody else. Isabella bullied you, shamed and belittled you, made you feel like a failure. All to keep you, her last and loyal son, from ever leaving too. Stop it! I don't want to hear it. Your mother was a monster. Is that not why you killed her? What? Francesca DeSantis.